He's a genius, man. He's a, he's a self-made genius. He's just a natural. He's kind of natural. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna drill a hole with the tool provided for the kit. Okay, it's done. Malfunction, malfunction, but we got it, we got it right, though. We good, we good. He knows a little bit about forcing it in there. You know, go in. <laughs> so, this is what we're going to do. I'm a Jesus man, you know what I mean? I'm going to have an incinerator. Uh, we ain't going to have to drill no more hole. It's already got a hole in there. So, we're just going to drive it through. Just bring it through the other side. As you can see, and just bring it into the rest of the car. Now? Yeah. I take it off in reverse. Yeah. Part. Yep. Put it in reverse once more. Yeah. Alright, cool. Yeah, there you go. Alright, take it off. Alright, so what we've done here is we're going to head and um, do a little soldering for the uh, red cable. All this is to reverse lights. Pretty much whenever this uh, goes on reverse, it's going to turn on the camera, which is going to power up the uh, change the AV output to the uh, screen so that it turns it on. So that's all we're doing now is just we're, we're using a little solder to put it on there. All right, so right now we got the camera on uh, on reverse. We got it installed there. One thing to note with this camera is be very careful because uh, it's in a 360 degree uh, ball joint. So in other words, it can go any way. So the problem here was to try to get it where it was level with the background. Um, so here we've got the camera, you know, showing as it's supposed to. It's mirrored image, so everything is on where it needs to be. Uh, right now we just got it uh, kind of hardwired. It is on reverse, so it's working when it's on reverse. Um, pretty much the inside of here you'll see you, you've got pretty much all the extra cables there extra up to one of the reverse lights and it was running through all wires in there to hold it in uh, for this unit to be removed you got three or four 10 millimeter screws right there and um, yeah just pretty much drill the hole and there was already a hole pre-drilled in the car itself to run the wires in and we've got this one which will run through the inside of the car 
pretty much to the bottom of this. We'll run it in here. Uh, try to run it through the bottom of this, and then try to run it through the inside of this. It's already kind of old, old wires already running through there, so we'll kind of take that route. All right, so we're gonna remove the. Uh, we just removed the rear, back, bottom of the seats on the G on the ES 300, and uh, fairly simple, man. You got these little tabs right here on the bottom of the seat. You've got uh, pretty much. You can see right there. You got those hooks. They just kind of go in there, and I just lift it up and just kind of tug on it, and it'll come right off. And so, in order to remove the rest of this, uh, we're trying to get behind this uh, portion right here. So you've got these four bolts right in the bottom now I'm not gonna necessarily remove it all uh, I'm just I just want enough room to be able to work back here so I'm just gonna remove those those bolts right there uh, to keep me access to, to the back of this uh, so that I can run the wires that I need all right as you can see back here this is where these hooks are at pretty much this is what it held in it. you got to move those four at the bottom and then you lift it up and you just pull it aside you've got three hooks right there pretty much that hold it in place and that allows this whole unit to just kind of come off like so. Now you can remove the seat belts and make it easier to work on, but I'm not going to do all that because I just need the space to get back here. So we'll get there. So what you need to do is you grab it and you just pull on it. That's all it is. None but tabs in there. And you get all the papers that are lodged in your black hole back here removed. Alright, so here pretty much what we've done is we're removing all the plastic pieces so that we can uh, pretty much run all this uh, you know wiring through the inside of the car so what we're going to do is uh, one of the things to pay attention is back here you've got a small tab let me see if I can find it now where to go where to go mm. oh, there it is you got one of these just push it in and, it, and it'll come out you've got that all the way at the back over here just kind of move the chair over and you'll see it so everything else is just pull off tabs kind of give a good tug on it same thing over here you've got this piece just tug on it and then you'll be stuck a little bit right over there and uh, you just move it up to the bottom and that frees this one and then we'll do the same over here and there might be one tap over there and we'll just remove it and then we'll just run these wires right to the bottom tape it together with it you know run it right through it and uh, we'll be in business man all right so what we just did is we went ahead and removed the side pillar Compartment here, and the way to do that one is you've got this one, this one part right here. Now the trick to this one is pretty much got uh, one tab right in the middle, and when you pull it out, when you get that tab loose, you're gonna pull up, and it's gonna come off loose from there. That's the only thing holding it. It's just two parts right there, and in that bottom section. So once you pull it out, you're just gonna pull up and it's going to come straight out so don't force it too hard out because otherwise you will break something so just kind of watch out for that but uh, so far we've got that removed and just kind of to recap everything that's going on that we've got most of the other run through the, through the center of the car right there pretty much through all the existing wires and we're going to run it up and this section is straight up through here and we're going to put it in through right about right here so then we're going to put the camera the screen right here and then run the wires the same way through here and probably just kind of hide everything within this section right here and then we're going to put the front camera and we're going to run the wires the same way through the bottom of this through in here and run it all through here and then we'll be set with both cameras So that's the screen right there. It's got a couple of settings. You've got your contrast, wow, your hue, you know, your saturation mode. You can do small, find the screen, reset everything. So you can pretty much, uh, anyway, so you can get a pretty good picture of uh, the things going out there. And uh, you got some saturation here going on. So that's kind of your modes right there. And uh, so 
Now we're gonna go look at the cameras. Uh, like I said, right now we got pretty much wires all over the place, but that's all gonna be hooked up. We got um, let's see. Yeah. we got pretty much uh, it running from the auxiliary, the, the cigarette lighter. Put a fuse with an extra attachment to it, kind of make it work quickly. We also we went ahead and did a little something over here. We added a, a switch. See what I'm saying? Look at that. Quick switch off. No more. <laughs> right on. There you go. Put the, tea, put the switch up there. There's all the, the wiring through here. It's all going to be hidden in a little bit. Uh, so let's, let's look at some of the other stuff. We got the... We got a little bit going over here uh, toward darkness, you know? It's definitely what's going on. <laughs> Alright, so we got the one camera back here. We got uh, we got the second camera up at the front. So you can see it right there. You know? So kind of help out. When you run over something, you know what it was. There ain't no guessing. So right now we got the wiring right here, but we're gonna get all that hidden, and we should be we should be good to go. So hopefully in a second we get everything set up and got the final final view for this. Always gotta be safe, huh? Practice safety. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at that. All right, so now we finally got everything complete. Everything's closed up. Yep, yep, yep. Here we got a uh, Lexus uh, ES300. Got everything pretty much wide out. Everything's back in and where it belongs. So here's the screen. Uh, non mirrored front view camera purchased off of uh, eBay and then got the uh, screen as well. So, as you can see, I mean, for not a very uh, plastic price, you really get uh, not, not too bad. It, it does its job, it does really good. The camera's got a good peripheral. So we put it in reverse. We installed the reverse camera with mirror image. Yep. So, we're just going to put it in reverse. See it? Pay attention, my bad. There you go. That's reverse right there. Yeah, it's got a good, I've got a, got, a, got a good peripheral feel, a mirror image, everything that's going to be on the top of the side. Uh, just, like, just like it is in real time. Yeah. Just like we're looking at a mirror. And there you that's, go, we've got right. a right part at the front. And we've, uh, and there it goes back into reverse. So, as you can see right there, and we added a, a switch up here. Yep. You can see, go ahead and uh, switch it off. Turns off the screen, turn it back on. So we added a switch up there. It was kind of hard to find a place to put this switch in this car. Um, you know, you, you don't want to drill the wood and you don't want to drill any of the other places. And then this is kind of an inconspicuous spot to put the, put the switch to just kind of have its own. And most of the power we actually went ahead and grabbed from the lights that um, powered the, your vanity mirror or your, or your lights over here. So that, that's where that, that power is coming from. And so if we can see outside, we'll go outside and kind of show you. See there's the front, front camera has got 360 degree view. Like you can go ahead and switch it anywhere. Move it anywhere you which way you want. Uh, right now we just got to place it straight in front. It's gonna give them, it's gonna give, give you a good image to be able to see if you're running into, into anything over here. Got the, uh, the back camera, and uh, if you saw the rest of the video, you saw how we removed this and how we took it all apart and uh, went ahead and mounted it up there. Pretty inconspicuous, nice size. I mean, just just really clean, just perfect. Like came with a car. Yeah. And if you know, and so if we look at it from like we're sitting in the back seat, we'll be able to see. 
there's a camera it looks looks pretty uh pretty legit in here see it in there it looks, looks legit yeah pretty much everything else here was switched to white leds And this, there you go. So, so, so this 10 hours later, y'all, this your boy, King B the Son, this AKA Godson, you know what I'm saying? So it's 10 hours, we got it done. It's 11.33 p.m. Central Standard Time, Texas. We still got like 108 degrees. It's 91 right now, 10 hours later, and we just got done.